Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room when it comes to the Xbox One S. And that is the size of the hard drive, or the size of the SSD it ships with at the moment in March 2021. It comes with a 500 gigabyte SSD, which is an incredibly fast one that works with the internal architecture to make um, the Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X enhance the games play amazingly fast and have amazing load times but 500 gig it isn't much is it if you think that the uh, uh, xbox one s comes with a 500 uh, gig hard drive um that's my og playstation 4 which has a two terabyte hard drive which i upgraded to a standard platter one and in fact both my one s and my um PlayStation 4 use external SSDs as well to increase performance, mainly for playing PUBG to be honest. The One S um, has got a 256 gigabyte SSD and the PS4 has got a 1 gigabyte SSD um, which gives me lots of storage but lots of fast, fast storage. And that, to be honest, is the answer to the Xbox One S's problems and that is what you can see here. This is a one terabyte SSD from uh, from Rav Power. This one is the let me read it, the RPUM003. Doesn't really matter which one you get, um, as long as it's a USB uh, SSD. You always want to go for. Now, obviously, there is the expansion port. For the uh, for the Xbox One S and the Xbox One S, where you can put a, a special expansion card in, which is basically another SSD, but they're really expensive. Um, and I'm not saying that these are cheap, but there's a chance you may already have one of these lying around uh, for your computer, or you know you can if you keep an eye on Amazon and pick them up when they're on special. I mean, you might not even need a one terabyte one, you know, a, um, a 500 gig one, you know, might well be uh, well, might well be good enough. And then what you can do is you use the SSD to store and play from your backwards compatible games. So that's all your Xbox One digital titles, the Xbox 360 backwards compatible games, and you know, if you're still playing them, the Xbox original Xbox backwards compatible. There's a handful of those, isn't there? They will sit very nicely and play very nicely from here, as well as... Um, the Xbox um, One S and Xbox One uh, X FPS boost games like Sniper Elite and Fallout 4, you can run them from an SSD very, very nicely from here. The only games that you absolutely must load onto the internal SSD, the super fast one, are the Xbox One S and X enhanced games. So these are the games that have basically have two versions of them when you buy them. You know, they'll, they'll have the Xbox One version, you know, or the PlayStation 4 version, and they will have the Xbox One S Stroke X games. So things like Assassin's Creed Valhalla uh, has has two versions. Um, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Cold War has, has two versions. And with these games, they say you've got to install them on the internal SSD because it's much, much faster than an external one. I and mean, it can take advantage of that. Um, however... I did notice that with um, State of Decay 2, which has an Xbox One S Stroke X enhanced version now, it played pretty similar, if not the same, when I was running it from the uh, external SSD as I did the internal SSD. But I think what happens is the games that absolutely must be run from the internal SSD, when you look at the icon on your on your, in your Xbox you know, um settings you know or you're, when you go to my games and you've got them they have a little arrow on them i think if they're in the wrong place and um, but it might be interesting as i learn more and i do some more experimenting because i haven't really got any um or got many xbox one s stroke x enhanced games um i'm really playing games like PUBG and daisy uh, and warzone so there we go the solution um Look out for an external SSD, USB, when they're on special on Amazon or somewhere like that, and then pick one up, plug it in, and basically you end up playing all your old games off uh, off this baby rather than filling up the internal SSD on the Xbox One S. There we go. If you've got any questions or comments, please put them in the description box uh, below the description down below. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.